Season 1 Reloaded just dropped, and we maxed out the brand new SMG, the HMR9. As usual, whenever it comes to new weapons, we're going to be putting it up to the test in zombies by using a variety of tools and crystals. You can get this SMG by completing its section on the battle pass, which basically requires about 60 special zombie kills with SMGs doing various challenges. Either way, here's the build, and let's get on with the video. It is yet another beautiful day to be in Urzikstan. You already know, another day, another patch and we got a brand new gun, the HMR-9. Now, this is gonna be a submachine gun. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the build uh, wasn't letting me put on a mag, so we're only rocking the 30 round mag, but I will say, if you are planning on building this, just go ahead and switch out that rear grip for the 50 round mag, and you'll have the same exact build. We've already corralled a few zombies in tier one, and this gun, from what I've seen in leveling it up in multiplayer, has a really nice fire rate, has a lot of recoil, but it has a really nice fire rate, really good movement speed, and really good ADS speed. Like, it's basically instantly. So we're going to test it out. Let's see how much can this gun do at Pack-A-Punch 0 uh, and no rarity on it. So testing it out, let's say, on this first group. I mean, keep in mind this is Tier 1. So if this thing isn't just absolutely shredding zombies, it looks like it's two shots. Yeah, it looks like it's about a two shot in the zone. That's pretty decent. I mean... For an SMG, I mean, at this point, it's honestly tier one. Who, who, If you're still in here, you're probably doing missions and, and doing things. I will say most of us are going to be in tier two and tier three, either grinding schematics or just having fun. Um, we did get the brand new update, getting a Doka Beast Fortress. Uh, we're not going to take her on because I've already taken her on, and I kind of want to leave that for somebody else in the, uh, in the lobby because, you know, only one person can take her down, I'm pretty sure. Uh, each lobby so i don't want to come in here and just take it just because we're showcasing a gun we did bring in some goodies as usual if it lets me open it uh basically tools from rare to legendary and crystals from the first to the third and some little extra things just for me so i'm gonna leave this gun at just rare rarity for right now and we're gonna test it in the tier two zone uh, i've also been getting this weird packet burst i don't know if you guys have been getting that but we're gonna test it out base rarity uh, or rare rarity base pack a punch so no pack a punch um, and we're gonna see how it fares in the tier 2 zone because most metal weapons should be able to uh, shoot a few bullets and take them down pretty easily already in the zone um, I highly doubt this SMG is gonna do that I haven't tested it at all in zombies but just seeing that it's not one shotting already in tier 1 uh, it's gonna be uh, kind of struggling I would assume if we can even find zombies this is kind of crazy this is the first little group we found here in tier two. All right, so we're gonna just get a straggler here and we're gonna test, let's do one body shot. Does like no damage and then one headshot. That does, a, that's about like quadruple damage I would say. So this is a base zombie. We are at, let's get it back up to 30 bullets. Let's see how long it takes to kill him. Actually not bad. I probably shot there a lot more than I should have. Looks like it takes about like 15 bullets. We'll do it in like three round bursts. Oh, maybe less. It might be like closer to nine bullets. Keep in mind, this is without pack a punch already in the tier two zone. So this, this is actually not too too shabby. Test it out on a light armor. That was okay. I wasn't expecting just for him to pop just like that. Okay. Let's test it against you. Okay, so it's it's not just me. Uh, let's try just body shots at this point. Not not everybody is shroud. All right, so it took a full a full mag just to kill that one that one zombie. If I didn't miss those bullets, test that again. If you're hitting body shots, I would say it takes about a mag completely. Um, and keep in mind, once we do pack a punch, it it's gonna go from 30 to uh, 60 bullets. So it's not gonna be too bad. But again, without the 50 round mag, I mean, Treyarch needs to fix their thing, or Activision needs to fix it. Um, just having, not being able to use the new gun to its full potential is kind of like messing me up. Having a, a hundred rounds once pack a punch on this gun will be extremely nice. But yeah, overall, I mean, it definitely gets the job done. It's not, it's not like you're going to be struggling in this zone too much. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not one shotting and killing the zombies instantly, but overall, not too bad. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, go to the nearest bounty, and we're going to get this baby up to Pack-A-Punch level one, because again, this is about what you're going to be running in the zone. You're just starting off, just got into your game. I mean, you're most likely going to have a rare or an epic tool already on you. 
So this is going to be kind of what you guys will be experiencing in the zone. Just having it rare rarity pack one and just doing contracts. So I want to be like as transparent with these guns as possible. I mean, the more honest I am, the better you guys will be uh, out here. So it's best if I, if I stay true to it. You know what I mean? We're going to go ahead and make our way over. Uh, as we make our way over, I just want to say a quick thank you guys. We just hit 5,000 subs on YouTube and 25 on TikTok. Um, honestly, has been a, a crazy uh, last month for me. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for all the love and support. If you guys want to keep seeing videos like this in the future, leave a like, leave a comment. You already know what to do. Looks like we've got a disciple. Ooh. All right, Clavera. Come on over. So this is now Pack-A-Punch level one, still at rare rarity. Um, let's see how this guy's gonna do. Okay, it's not it's not doing too hot, I will say. Oh my god, these guys are we gotta get rid of this disciple first, I think. So this is a regular disciple. Ah, I took about 60 bullets there and I mean, okay. Uh, not too terrible. We don't have an an ammo mod on it at all or anything. Okay, we're just gonna let him suck us up like that. All right. Hey, yo, what? I, yo, I did not say that. All right. I, what? What am I talking? Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> all right. We're gonna did another another disciple just spawned in. Okay. Let's see how we can we can make this a little easier for us. All right. We're just gonna go ahead and start. So I guess shooting him. So whenever he does that, by the way, you wanna be hitting or shooting their hand specifically. That's what's going to cause them to uh, kind of break or break LOS. So if you break line of sight, you're also going to be good. Okay. You got to get rid of this other disciple. He's just going to keep spawning in shit. I, it seems like once you break their armor, it's going to be kind of okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can break his armor. Shoot the hand. And then start shooting the head. If we can break his armor here, we'll be basically good to go. On. Yeah, this thing has like no armor breakage. We are using the overpowered round, so maybe armor piercing will be a little better. Um, but normally overpressured is kind of what you want to be running. Okay, I think we just broke his armor, so now this is when we're going to really start dealing some good damage. Okay. Yeah, guys, still nothing. I mean, I literally went through how many bullets there, and this thing just didn't do much. I mean, keep in mind, this still is only pack one. Um, so it's not going to be completely insane. But yeah, now, now as soon as he stayed still, we can kind of get a little bit more damage done. Ooh. It is still very, very rough, though, I will say. Break LOS. We're just going to train him around this corner. It seemed like I maybe was giving him a little bit too much health there. Ooh. LOS again. And he is like really just trying to suck me up here, huh? <laughs> hey. Oh, shoot him through? Wall bang? Going crazy. Right, he's almost there. Holy shit. This has been like 600 bullets. You know what? I mean, I, I haven't been exactly the greatest at this right now, but holy shit. And I can't even pick up. I can't even pick up more ammo. It's been too, too recent. Okay, my dude, you gotta like. You gonna die anytime soon? I feel like I'm shooting uh, airsoft bullets at this point. All right, stay still. We should be able to get the last little bit of damage. That took a little too long. I will say that took like what two minutes there. Uh, death perception, and we got a extra self rest, so we'll take that. Let's go ahead. Let's find the uh, next bounty. It seems like it's all the way up here. Do we have a car? Doesn't seem like we have a car, so that kind of sucks. We're gonna have to run our way over here. There was a car all the way back here, but we're just gonna make our way over. Um, what was that? My screen just started shaking. They added in a new boss or something? I don't know of. Um, okay, it seems. It seems like this gun at this rarity uh, and this pack is not very good. So we're going to upgrade it to epic rarity now. Let's see. It definitely it definitely is going to perform just slightly better. Um, I'm going to actually get this all the way up to epic 
uh, and pack level two. So this is going to be kind of like your mid range. You're normally going to want to start heading into tier three at this point. Uh, if you're using like the Lockwood, the tiers, or anything like that. But considering that this gun um, just did not do anything on that last on that last boss, I definitely want to give it a try just at this rarity. Make sure that at least here we'll be able to uh, deal some damage, if you know what I mean. Because holy, having to shoot around like 800 shots there was just not it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we actually have a disciple here. Let's see how it does now. Oh yeah, a whole hell of a lot better, I will say. Already, pack level 2, epic rarity. I mean, you're doing just so much more damage already. Alright, let's get this bounty. This should be a pretty simple, pretty easy one. Um, but, you never know. We always gotta test each zone. Do it. You, are, you guys already know how this works. Ooh, he's all the way over here? This is a different one. I've never seen this uh, route. Gun has a pretty nice hip fire too with with all those bullets going down so quick i mean kind of just spray and pray you know what i mean okay so bounty's about 150 ish meters away uh, we should be there relatively quickly it is a mimic so this should be a bit easier uh instead of like a mangler or a disciple in my opinion uh i find mimics to be the easiest just because their, their easy spot is just so big. Their critical is just like insane. So, all you gotta do, easy way. If you have death or something, you gotta see All right, so now this gun, this gun now is actually starting to, to show off a little bit. I mean, it took about two mags to completely kill him. Um, Again, not, it's not, I'm not gonna sit here and say this is the greatest. Uh, you're definitely gonna have probably better luck using the uh, Lockwood or the tiers. But it definitely is a viable option if you're trying to, I don't know, level this gun up or trying to do some of those weekly challenges or, you know, just something of that nature. You need to do the camo challenges. Uh, I would definitely go ahead and uh, use this gun. I mean, you're kind of forced to at that point, but it, it is not a bad option at all. So we're going to go ahead and head into tier three now and see what this gun is all about at this point. All right, here we are in the tier three zone. I have this gun still at epic rarity, uh, pack a punch level two, and let's see how this does. I have a feeling the high fire rate here might help it, but honestly, not bad. It's a lot of headshots, and I mean, it takes about like half the mag about, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say half the mag. It takes about like 20 bullets to kill a single zombie. So not the greatest, but again, there's certain, gu there's certain guns that I know of that do a hell of a lot worse at this stage. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find some more zombies to test this out on. Maybe I just wasn't hitting my shots. Maybe it is a lot better. Uh, you never know. Oh, we got some buddies here. What's up, guys? Never my bro. All right, let's, let's take a look here. Definitely, you're gonna have to be hitting headshots at this point. If you're if you're in the zone, definitely uh, look into picking up dead shot, quick revive, you know, all the goodies. Um, because it's going to be a major, major struggle. Okay, armor zombie took... I don't know how many bullets that was. I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm being 100% honest. Let's take a quicker look here. That one took about like 35-ish bullets. That one took like about 25. So I think it just honestly all depends if you're hitting your headshots or not. If you're hitting your headshots, it's, it's definitely real good, but... If you're not, then you're going to be on a struggle bus. I mean, kind of that way with a lot of guns. Um, but it's not going to be completely uh, useless in the zone at this point. Now we're going to go ahead and switch up. We're going to go to Legendary Rarity. Uh, we're going to keep it actually pack level 2. I want to see if this maybe changes it a little bit. Because this is going to get us about another 2 times the damage from base rarity. If I'm not mistaken. Um... All right, so we have 47 bullets. That took about 12, about 12-ish bullets to fully kill the zombies. So not 100% terrible. So again, this is kind of like the max, almost the max potential at this point. Tier three mimic, I mean, honestly, hey. Took about a mag in a little bit. That's, that's not bad at all. Now we're gonna go on, get it to its complete max potential. 
at pack three legendary you already know now this gun should be absolutely insane i mean this gun should not be doing amounts of damage that can easily take on mega abominations and all that at this point and if it isn't then you know the, there's a bit of an issue so zombie wise i mean we took out like four zombies in that one spray and i wasn't even hitting headshots so hold up a second get a quick pick right here hello <laughs> uh, that you'll probably see that picture right there in the thumbnail all right let's go ahead take out all these zombies near him throw that down all right mangler tier three legendary and it takes about a mag so we went from about a mag and a half to a mag. Just under a mag. Alright, we, uh, we gotta outrun this guy. Now we're gonna see how good it is. Ooh, against Mega Abominations. This thing is doing some pretty decent damage. I mean, it broke a head in, what, two mags? And that's honestly without it even shooting out the, uh, the electric pulse or anything. So with the electric pulse, let's see. About 40 bullets? That's pretty nice, I will say. Not the greatest against zombies. I will say, not the greatest. But, definitely can do some pretty good damage. But can we take him down? Nah. I wasn't... I was not good enough there. Go ahead, throw a nade up here. Got a ton of... We got a whole horde coming our way. Right, let's see how this is going to handle it. Hey, hey. They're not even getting close to me at this point. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. I spoke a little too soon. I okay, gotta take a step back. <laughs> a lot of armored zombies, I'm assuming. Alright, Mimic Tier 3. Oh, that is just chunking. Alright. Oh, we got an insta cut like, the worst time. I mean, we can now see how many shots it's gonna take. We got 55 bullets. One. Okay, I mean... I would say, even without that, I, I would say that this gun absolutely performs... Up to standard, if not higher than standard. I mean, it, this gun is like completely wiping out megas there. It took, what, a mag and a half? Even without shooting the, um, without shooting the, the special electric, uh, whatever you call it, the beam. Um, so I would say, honestly, it's not, not completely terrible. It's, it's definitely something that is viable in the tier three zone. Um, but let's go ahead and see. I don't think we're going to be able to get that bounty, are we? No. So there's too, just too many people in the Tier 3 zone at this point. We're going to actually go and take on the Stormcaller. Let's see if we can take on the Storm. That will be our bounty for the day. Let's see how this weapon does. Hopefully he's still there. I mean, if somebody just didn't go in and two-shot him with some crazy, like, Pack 4 VR-11. Um, but we're going to go see if, if he's in there. We're going to go ahead and test it out on him. If not, if this might be the end of the video. Because, honestly, we, we're not going to be able to get a bounty here. I mean, these people, we have, what, 10 guys? He is here. Perfect. So, we don't we don't need to worry about it. Don't have a mask on. Kind of sucks. But... Okay. Got to remember, these are, like, these are basically better than Dark Aether zombies. Oh, yeah. These, these guys do not mess around at all. I don't, I don't think this gun is going to do anything to him. If I'm being 100% honest. Is he just going to die? Hey, you're staying a little too long out here, brother. Yeah, this, this gun is just doing nothing to them. Alright. Kind of give us a bit of room here. Let's see. I honestly just want to see if this gun is going to be able to um, even start doing damage to him. But I know all these zombies, these zombies are not going to be able to get taken out at this point. The, these guys are like buffed to the utmost degree. And considering they just continuously spawn at this point in there. Oh my god, yeah, this thing, this thing is tickling. Okay, so tier 3... <laughs> Tier three stormcaller is definitely not gonna be a good choice if you wanna if you wanna actually get uh, things done here. Oh, thank God, ammo. Let's see, how can we do this? Can just drop like the sentry gun right here. There we go. Maybe that all that could clear out some things. Okay, we have 
120 rounds. Let's let's call it. Honestly, it is doing damage to him. It's just these zombies are absolutely insane in here. I mean, hello? Oh, I'm, I'm, am I gonna die? I don't think so. Okay, we're, we're good. I don't have a gas mask either, which is not good. But these zombies are crazy in the zone. It, it is doing damage to the Stormcaller though, so that, I will say it is a pretty decent uh, boss weapon. It's not gonna compare it to like the XRK Stalker or anything like that, or the tier, uh, the tier with the bullseye kit, but um, it definitely, it definitely does hold its own. Uh, but that is it for me, guys. If you guys have enjoyed and want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications, and I will see you in the next one.